Okay, everything, uh, here we go, yes, uh, welcome to the show, once again, this week, episode 163, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, hope you're getting ready for the holiday season, there's certainly uh, lots of treats out there, uh, I had some private Christmas parties Jennifer and I went to over the weekend, but we were very excited, last Thursday we did get down to see the Nightingale Chorus and their presentation of Finding Christmas, and uh, I want to say thank you to Carrie Beauchamp for having us there as her, uh, her guest, we took a, a couple of friends along as well who'd never seen the performance before, they were absolutely thrilled. Can't wait till next year, because it will be the 20th year for the Nightingales. Uh, Carrie's not letting anything out of the bag just yet, but knowing Carrie, it'll be something super spectacular for their 20th year, I'm sure. So congratulations to everybody involved in the Nightingale Chorus, and thank you once again to our friend Carrie Beauchamp for having us down that night. All right, well, some rock and roll stuff still happening. Coming up Friday, December the 19th, down to Rustic, Rocket Up Sarnia is putting on a show, and Stone River is going to be there along with Time Giant, the Down River Band, and Lazy Mouth. The doors will open at 6.30. Tickets are only 5 bucks. My friend Aaron Sisson uh, working very hard to uh, put on this show for you. You can check him out on uh, Playfair Music on the uh, audio stream as well. So check that out online. Thanks, Aaron, for sharing that information. And we wish you a great Rock It Up Sarnia-style show down at Rustic this Friday, December the 19th. All right, well, tis the season, of course, so lots of Christmas things happening, and we got out uh, right now. Let's go to the entertainment scene, and we're going to talk to our friends, revisit our friends, Little Chicago. They have got a sold-out show happening at Jack Doyle's this Friday, December the 19th, and we uh, it was fun to get back into the, the room, the jam room with the guys and talk to them about uh, their show and uh, some other things they've got in the works as well. So now, let's go out to the entertainment scene and talk to our friends, Little Chicago. Chicago. All right, this week out on the entertainment scene, revisiting some of our friends. We've been keeping an eye on them, but we haven't really visited them in a while. And Little Chicago, how you doing, guys? Pretty good, Dave. Hello. It's good to be back Hello. in this. Uh, this is, I think, the last time where we met uh, as far as uh, an interview went. And Close Rob, enough. Rob yep. Sharp, you're uh, taking the lead here. Yep. Let's go around quick and reduce everybody here. Our buddy uh, Wolf on Waldo flew back in from New Brunswick just for this job. Jeff Hainan, bass guitar. Good buddy Brian McClellan on drums forever with us. And right. David Grennan, we can't even remember when he wasn't around. So. <laughs> I remember okay. him way back. That's another story. We've told that a couple of times. But uh, that's right, my first keyboard. Uh, Little Chicago has seen some changes over the past couple of years, but mm -hmm. uh, still holding it together. Been back in uh, Memphis recently and playing around Sarnia. And you've got a yep. special event coming up this Friday. Talk about that. This Friday, uh, in cooperation with Jack Doyle's, our uh, third annual Christmas uh, Christmas concert. Not yeah. to imply there is a bunch of Christmas music, but there we might, might be. <laughs> sneak one in. We might sneak one Blues in. Blues style, though, probably. Eh, you never know. Buy little, a ticket, little come bit and see. A little bit of Jersey Soul, buy a ticket and see. Yeah. yeah. You guys have all been playing. I mean, Little Chicago's been around a long time, and you guys have all uh, played in different bands together and had different experiences mm -hmm. in the music world. Um, let's jump over to one of you guys. Any guys take this on? What? What keeps you going in the music? music. It's, it's not about the money anymore. It's about the music. Yeah, we yeah, all have, we all have you know day jobs and lives and other things that are going. And mm. We do this because of the music. We, we've mm -hmm. we've stretched our wings a little bit past uh, past Sarnia and and uh, been really well uh, accepted in some other cities. Yeah. And what other Sarnia's, cities have you been playing? Ah, uh, Memphis. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, London. London is extremely good to us. Yes. London is 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 just exceptional. Where to do us. you play down there? Uh, East uh, East Side Bar and Grill, London Music Hall, London Music Club. Nice. Aeolian Hall. Um, you won't let me put it out there just yet, but I know there's some original stuff coming. Yeah. Um, do we have? Can you can you share a little teaser a bit of what's going on with that, or when we could expect to put that out to everybody? No. <laughs> no idea. No commitment no, here. No. No, we should have something out by uh, by I I would say later on in 2015. But yeah. full does, CD is again. everybody involved yeah. in the writing? 
as far as lyrics and music goes, or is there one person? How does that work out? Well, usually Rob comes with something he's been kind of noodling with, and then we, of yeah. course. And then Jeff changes it on me. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but we all put our own little flavor yeah. on it. It's, it's yeah. pretty good. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, somewhat of a democracy. Yeah. Um, why don't you guys just shout out like who your influences would be? As Starting far with as Dave. Well. Oh, I have so many. Yeah. Pick one. Don't say the Beatles. I like Chuck, I like Chuck Liddell on piano. There you so go. Yeah, I dig, I dig his style. So yeah. Brian, right you mean like individual players? Yeah, yeah or, in, oh, or, know, or any group? Bar, uh, Buddy Rich. Uh, yeah. you know, yeah. you pick a amp. There's tons of them out there. Great players. Yeah. Cool. Anybody uh, else? I like Adele. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. No. <laughs> Where's your wig? <laughs> yeah, no, like a lot of the '70s stuff came out of New York State, and that they they played their the FM was different. Of course, Motown for me yeah. was huge. You know, I had uncles that played it all the time, and that's uh, I steal stuff from that all the time. Yeah, whether I know it or not. Yeah, cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great stuff. Yeah. Right on. So tickets are still available. It's actually going no. quite well for you. No, they're done. You're sold out. They they sold out. That's last, amazing. Last week, yeah. Wow. Why are you so surprised? Well, no, I mean, no, that's, that's, <laughs> you know, that's, wow, that's awesome. you got to be feeling pretty good about that. Next huh? next year, we're going to print 30 tickets. Yeah, yeah. and say oh, we're man. sold out, and then we no, just, we, we, more yeah. VIP available. Yeah, yeah. But, no, we, it's, we, we're, like, I mean, you, all we're humbled, we're grateful. Sure, we're, we're that's humbled. awesome. And, of course, uh, we can find you on Facebook and, and all you that sort sure of jazz, can. right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much, Rob. Right, Guys, buddy. all of you, thank you so much for giving me your time here. Uh, that's great. Little Chicago selling out at Jack Doyle's this Friday. Maybe, I don't know, we might sneak somebody in. Nope. No, yeah, yeah, we're gonna try anyway. Uh, let's go back to the studio. We're gonna talk some more about Little Chicago coming to Jack Doyle's this Friday, uh, December nineteenth. Little Chicago, thanks for your time uh, being here on the show. Uh, you know, you really, uh, yeah, it was great to, to get down and see you guys. You know, uh, you talk about influence and stuff there, and I was talking to uh, Dave Grennan, the keyboard player, uh, shortly after the interview, and he said, you know, one of the greatest influences is he gets to play his Leslie keyboard, um, and it's all original, like there's no electronic stuff going on. It's all original. Everything they do is an original sound, and they create it themselves. So uh, congratulations to all the guys in Little Chicago on a sold-out show. That is so awesome. I know they've got some more things coming up. They'll be in the studio, and uh, they keep teasing me. They've been telling me that, but I got a feeling that they'll tell me first. Right, guys? Yes, I appreciate that. Little Chicago, thanks so much. Have a great Christmas show this Friday down at Jack Doyle's. Well, going out into the community this time, she's been on the show before, but this was somewhat of a follow-up, and uh, we really missed our friend Laura Persichetti from the Good Deeds Project, and she recently had an event here in Sarnia, and she wants to talk a little bit more to us about uh, reminding us what the Good Deed Project's all about, and a documentary, and uh, we just have a fun time talking to our friend Laura Persichetti. So now, let's go out into the community and check out the Good Deeds Project. Out in the community this week, very happy to be back with our friend Laura Persichetti from the Good Deeds Project. And we've been following her and watching her online. And uh, you just had an event recently happened uh, Tuesday night. Tell us what happened there, Laura. So Tuesday we had the Good Deeds Project Gratitude Gathering at the Sarnia Library Theatre. And this event was to bring people together to share some of the updates on the project, share some footage of the documentary, right. as well as just take some time to say thank you to all the amazing people that have had a hand in the project. Yeah, because you've, not just locally here in Sarnia, I know you've had a lot of great support here, but all across the country, I mean, you're on CTV News and you've met some wonderful people. Just, just share a little bit about that experience that you've had. Sure, so in the summertime, I went to the east coast of Canada and uh, met a family out there absolutely and um, in the fall I went to the east coast of the US so there have been people um, not just from the trips and the traveling right. but also people who have learned about the project elsewhere that have 
helped. So there's people all over the states, all over Canada, yeah. in Europe, in Australia, yeah. in South Africa. Around South the world. America. Yeah, it's been pretty amazing. It's like a positive virus yeah. that's catching on, if you will, right? And yeah. it's in a good way. Yeah, you know, sure. that's awesome. And you've put a lot of effort into this. Uh, speaking of effort, you know, you, you sent us a lot of updates on YouTube. That was awesome, by the way. But you're uh, working on a documentary. Where are we at with the documentary? So in the travels, I've had the most amazing experience of interviewing some of the most amazing good eaters yeah. and their insights and stories and um, just inspiration has been incredible. So the documentary itself has been doing these interviews and gathering these um, people's stories. And essentially, the theme has become, I've seen a need, I had an idea, and I created this project. Right. And there's been obstacles along the way, sure. but at the end of it, it's just this amazing thing that um, these just regular people saw that they could do something. Yeah. So as far as the documentary goes, I'm now at the point where I'm taking some time to sit back and put the story together. Sure. Um, and the idea is to break it down into episodes and have it become kind of uh, a show that you can watch. Perfect. And essentially, I would love to take it to television networks and see if it's something that um, they would adopt as a, a project. And uh, yeah, it's to me, I feel so blessed because it's been so inspiring for me to listen Certainly. to these people that I can't imagine not sharing that with more people. Yeah, you know, a lot and of that's times, really the bottom line of what the Good Deeds Project's all about, is just sharing positive, right? Yeah. And I, you've done a great job of sharing. Thank you. You really have. We've followed you lots, uh, both Jennifer and I have watched you, and I know lots of other people, we've talked about you and what's going on, so it's really great um, that you're doing this. Now, at this point, with the documentary, and you've come through some traveling and stuff, what's next for the Good Deeds Project? So right now, I'm focusing on fundraising, um, and I had fundraise some money to get the gear to film and um, I put in some money for that as well and came home to do the editing and when I went and so I go and bug my high school teacher who actually got me involved <laughs> with, go. with film in the first place and now all the gear that I have doesn't match up with the computer and software I have so oh, now okay. I have to like save up and and start with that but I've been introduced to um, this really healthy coffee called Organo Gold. Oh, yes. So I've started to sell coffee and tea in order to raise money for the Good Deeds Project. Perfect. So that's uh, the step right now is raising enough money to get the gear to do the editing and then editing into episodes. All right. Well, let's see if we can help with that. Uh, let's start by giving everybody a website they can go to to find out more about the Good Deeds Project. Sure. Where does that be? Um, the Good Deeds Project website is www.gooddeedsmovement.com. Okay. And you can follow everything there. Um, if you want to support the project by um, trying out healthy coffee, <laughs> you can go to um, www.gooddeedsproject.organogold.com. Perfect. Laura, thank you so much. Thank you. Come here. Uh, She's awesome. Oh, here we go. Our friend okay. Laura Persichetti here. We're going to talk more about her and the Good Deeds Project, how you can uh, get involved and support this Good Deed Project. Yeah, and do a good deed and let us know about it because we have $7 billion to capture. So <laughs> That's awesome. So all the help we can get would be awesome. Right on. Let's go back to the studio and talk more about the Good Deeds Project. Thank you. All right, Laura Persichetti, thank you so much for uh, visiting us once again here on the show and giving us an update on the Good Deeds Project, a very successful event this past Tuesday. Uh, congratulations on that, Laura. And Laura's just a great, fun, positive, vibrant person to be around, and we just uh, look forward to... We check her videos out online. Jennifer and I both really enjoy uh, watching her uh, videos online. You can check that out at her website. Make sure you go to that and find out how you can get involved in the Good Deeds Project. So once again, Laura, thank you so much for being here on the show, and uh, stay in touch. We'll look forward to uh, next time we have you back. All right. Uh, apps with Mark Russell. Uh, if there's a better way to type, guess what? He found it, and he's going to talk about that right now. Our good friend Mark Russell joins us every week, and now let's go see what he's got for us. Here's Apps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. Autocorrect can make some funny mistakes, but when it's important, there's a better way to type on your phone or tablet. This week, we look at SwiftKey on Apps with Mark Russell. SwiftKey is the best, fastest way to type on a touchscreen. It allows you to type more accurately, and you can say goodbye to typos with an autocorrect based on your own personal writing style. SwiftKey even inserts missed spaces for you. Tired of tapping? Type differently by sliding from letter to letter with SwiftKey Flow. With SwiftKey, you can type in up to three languages at once without changing your settings. Spoil yourself with over 800 emojis 
and clever emoji prediction to enhance your texts. Swiftkey is designed to learn the words that matter to you. It gives you astonishingly accurate corrections and predictions, getting smarter with every word you type. You can make Swiftkey smarter in seconds by signing up for Swiftkey Cloud. There you can sign into the Swiftkey store to purchase additional themes for your keyboard. You can also teach Swiftkey your writing style by having it look through your Gmail, Facebook, and more. Have it stay up to date with popular words and phrases added to your dictionary every day. Back up and sync your learning across different devices. SwiftKey is available for free on Android and iOS, and you can buy additional keyboards for between $1 and $5. This has been Apps with Mark Russell. All right, well, there's our friend Mark Russell joins us here every week. Appreciate your time here on the show every week, Mark. Uh, if you want to get to know Mark a little better, find out uh, what he can find out for you, then send him an email to info at com. Next week being Christmas, I'm really curious to see what he's uh, going to have going on for us. Thanks again, Mark. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. All right, it's local events calendar time. Turn it up, and here we go. Once again, your local events calendar for Sarnia, Lampton County area. Thanks to everybody who sends in those uh, events on a regular basis. There's only so much room uh, on the uh, local events calendar, so get it to me as soon as you can if you've got a special event. And you know what you got to do two to three weeks in advance to the show at davidburrows.ws. Uh, speaking of local, I want to have some fun. Of course, Christmas coming up, and everybody's got, you know, one of these, right? Um, I'd like you to take, in 15 seconds or less, a video saying what you love most about Christmas. Okay, I don't want anything negative. I want you to tell me what you love most about Christmas. As you know, I love Christmas. Uh, and take that video, 15 seconds or less, and send it to the show at davidbrose.ws, and uh, maybe we'll have you uh, up here on the show next week. And I might have a prize for some of you participating as well. It's Christmas. I'm giving stuff away. And I'm not telling you what it is because it's Christmas. You're not supposed to know, but it'll be nice. I, I promise you. So please do that for me, okay? All right, just before we go, uh, of course, the first annual rock and roll concert, uh, Christmas concert coming to the Imperial Theater on Saturday, December the 20th. All great local musicians getting involved in this one. It's going to be an incredible, phenomenal show. $25 a ticket. They are selling very, very fast and almost gone. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm going to be a, a part of it along with Sarah Woodley from the Fox FM at Blackburn Radio and myself will be the MCs for the evening and it's going to be just a huge amount of fun. In fact, it's so much fun. David Chalk um, said I could share this video with you, so I'm going to give you a little bit of teaser. Enjoy this video. That's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. And I will see you next time right here in the show. Bye-bye for now. Merry ho-ho. Here we go. <laughs> Now that jingle hop has 